Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Friday, June 2nd. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Monday markets were closed for Memorial Day, so hope you enjoyed your time off there. Let us jump into the trades that we made for the week. So first trade was an opening trade where we bought a calendar in TLT. IV percentile at the time was at about four. We used the front month, which is which only had 17 days to expiration, which is a little bit shorter than I typically like, but you know, really trying to get on some positions, you know, continue to get those occurrences on, and uh, and not a lot to choose from as far as premium selling goes. So we wanted to get on some calendars, and so the TLT still had a a good risk reward, so it made sense to put that on. So let's take a look at TLT. So we actually now have a double calendar on because the, uh, the second calendar we put on today, which I will mention, let's, uh, let's click off the 126. So this was the original calendar we had on. Now it didn't move all the way to our break even, as you can see prices sitting right here, but I wanted to get another position on to give ourselves more profit opportunity. And with only, now, you know, now there's only 14 days to expiration on the front month, so I wanted to go ahead and get another one on. So I put that on, so we've got a, a much wider, wider break even, more profit potential, so we will continue to monitor TLT. Next one was a closing trade in IWM, so we got, a, got that nice, uh, nice move in IWM, which allowed us to bank a little over 40% of max profit on that trade, so that was good. No trades that day. Next trade was a closing trade in Lulu. So they had, you know, they, they moved their earnings announcement from what it typically is. So we, you know, we never got a chance to get a lot of theta decay, even though price was staying within our range. And that's why we try to avoid earnings in our monthly income strategies. Because when it does have that upcoming earnings, and if you're trading in that specific option cycle, uh, those those options are going to get priced up going into earnings and you're not going to get that theta decay you're not going to get that time decay that you typically would so just uh, just took that one off the day before earnings got out uh, and and actually if we take a look at Lulu the uh, they I'm not even sure what it did but they beat pretty good because it, it jumped up it's up about 11% right now it was up as much as 15% earlier it's come back down so uh, probably would have blown through our upside, so good move to get out of Lulu. Next trade was in EWZ, so we bought our strangle back in there. We were in that strangle for about 12 days, made over 40% of max profit. Remember, on a strangle, we're looking for about 50% of max profit, but if we get it that quick, if we get 40% in under 15 days, we're always going to take that off. Uh, IV percentile still at 83, still very high. Uh, still a lot of concern with with the corruption that had gone on with you know involving the president in Brazil. Uh, so we will look to you know put on another position potentially next week if we have a little bit more movement in price. Because remember we still have this inverted uh, 35, 36, 35 strangle on. We've got a nice little profit coming in there. Want, want some more decay to take place. This was the, the one we adjusted after that big move, so we're still looking for a little more profit to, uh, to get us back to even on that one. But as I, as I mentioned, the one we just took off banked another profit, so that's the game you play. You just you put on a position, if it goes against you, you adjust, you continue to, to put on additional positions around it if implied volatility allows, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, so far working well. And let's see, what was the next trade we did? Oh yeah, SPY. So we had a, we had a calendar in SPY and we kind of, was kind of similar to TLT, it was hanging out around our upside, not quite breaching our break even, but, uh, but we wanted to get another one on with just 14 days left. So now we've got a double calendar on in SPY. Gave us, gave us a little bit more room to the upside and of course looking for a little bit more of a downside move and, and some more theta to decay before we take that one off. Next trade, last trade was that additional calendar in TLT that I already went over. So 
Those were the trades for the week. Let's take a look at some of our other current positions. We've got a strangle on in oil. And, uh, and as you can see, we're in the profit. Uh, I actually was trying to get filled yesterday on this trade <clears throat> when price was up here. Never, never got my order filled and then price has moved back down. So now we'll continue to wait, looking for a, looking for a little bit more of an up move and some more decay in oil before we take that one off. In soybeans, we've got two different positions on. So we've got this adjusted iron condor, which is simply just the put side, <clears throat> looking for an up move to, to get back some of that, uh, some, of the, some of the loss in that one. And then simultaneously, after we adjusted that, we put on another iron condor and soybeans, and it's still well within the range. So looking for a little bit of a move up and more theta to decay in soybeans. In wheat, kind of a same situation. We've got the put side of wheat here. Price is much more within our range. We could take this off and, and, and get around a round of break even on the entire iron condor, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold that and try to, I wanna try to get a winner out of this one, as well as, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to reset this so I can see my see my other position so if we click off the put side of that one we've got this other full iron condor which has a decent little profit but looking for a little bit more before we take that off dia we've got an iron condor man this market's strong isn't it i mean it just keeps pushing 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 higher so dia is up kind of near its break even nothing to do yet if we take a look at the just the put side so if we click off our calls can still see we got a little bit of extrinsic value we're at about a profit of 67 bucks with a total potential of 93 so we'll let that decay a little bit more before we would take off the uh, take off the put side so as for now we're just gonna leave the whole thing on and look for a potential down move to help our position EFA we have this adjusted strangle on that we had rolled from June to July EFA is pushed a little bit higher so on this situation, we're not gonna we're not gonna adjust right when it hits our break even. Really, as as I teach in the course in the strangles course, you want to look at the extrinsic value of that uh, of the untested side. So if we look at the put, which is the untested side, again, uh, you know you still got a lot of juice left in those, a lot of premium left in those options. So max profit of four thirty two, we're we're up at about up about two hundred and some dollars on that side. So. Gonna let that continue to move higher if it does before we adjust. And obviously if it moves down and we get more of that theta decay, we'll take that off for a nice profit. EWZ, I already mentioned that one. Microsoft, we've got a strangle in Microsoft. Still within our range here, looking for a little bit of a move down before we take that off. The Qs, we've got this, this call side of, that was originally an iron condor. We adjusted and rolled the call side and now we're, now we're just, just holding that. You know, part of the reason that we're, we're continuing to hold this too is, is we just wanted that extra short delta in our portfolio. I mean, this market's not going to continue to go up forever. I know it feels like it, but, uh, but you know, having that short delta on is, is imperative. So you don't want to, you don't want to get slapped if we have a huge down move in the market and that's how you protect yourself. doesn't feel that good when the market's going up, but as you continue to sell premium and get that theta decay, that helps make up for it on the upside, uh, but uh, but we, you've got to carry that short delta, and so that's what we'll continue to do with that. Then SPY I mentioned and TLT. So those are all the positions. Those are all the trades. We will be back live for Navigation Trading Live uh, streaming from our Facebook and YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be doing that Monday morning at 825. So look forward to seeing you then. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.